Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Tutorial. So we will continue our discussion related to the various uh, properties of uh, materials. So far we have discussed about tensile strength, uh, ductility, toughness, ductile and brittle nature of materials. And uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, two uh, another two properties associated with materials which is the yield strength and resilience so all these uh, properties they are associated with the stress strain curve of materials okay so we have already discussed about stress strain curve in detail so this stress strain curve which is plotted from the tensile test of uh, materials and uh, these are the various points on the stress strain curve now we are particularly interested for this uh, on omn pq so this discussion will be related to these uh, points m and p q okay which mark the transition from this linear OMN region to this non-linear NPQ portion okay now we know during the tensile stress uh, tensile test when tensile stress is applied on the materials it exhibits two kinds of properties elasticity and plasticity so the materials they undergo deformation during loading when stress is applied and uh, they return to original state when the stress is removed. So this property is called as elasticity and it is exhibited in this linear OM region maximum up to M. Okay? This OMN region, the linear portion, it is called as the linear elastic region within which the material shows elastic properties. Beyond N, the plastic behavior of material is exhibited. It means after undergoing deformation because of stress, when the stress is removed, it does not return to its original shape. That is the plastic behavior of materials, which is which happens beyond N. So, what is yield strength and uh, what is actually yielding? So, it is the uh, phenomena of transition of a material under tensile stress from this linear elastic region, okay, this region OMN to the NPQ or the PQ region. Okay, the lower and upper yield points. So this transition from the linear elastic region to the non-linear plastic region that is called as yielding. Now you know this stress strain curve is a general you know uh, plot. Most materials for them the stress strain curve may end at this point M. They may undergo fracture at N. Some may undergo fracture before P. Some may undergo fracture before Q. I have already told this during the tensile uh, discussion, tensile strength discussion and the toughness. Most materials, they show different types of uh, stress strain behavior for all the materials, you know. Some materials, they may uh, undergo fracture before R. Some before S. So this is just a general plot, okay? Different materials have different stress strain characteristics. So depending on the nature of the stress strain curve, it is very difficult to exactly locate the point of transition from linear elastic to non-linear plastic region, okay? As different materials will have different characteristic features and as a result, they also different stress strain relationship stress strain behavior so their stress strain curves will also be different so a method is used to determine this point of transition so for that we'll take uh, consider a stress strain curve like this let's say this is the stress strain curve 
and uh, this region up to P okay you can see it is almost a straight line passing through the origin so this is the linear elastic region and this region which obeys Hooke's law it is the elastic region it means within this OP region the material after the removal of stress will return back to its original shape after being deformed but beyond P it will enter into the plastic region but in order to locate the exact location of P it is very difficult for most materials because they will have different stress strain curves stress strain relationship so for that a method is used in which a straight line parallel to the linear region okay this a straight line is drawn parallel to this linear region op a straight line is drawn parallel to this op so for that a particular amount of gap is maintained which is called as offset in the strain axis the value which is equal to 0 0.002 this is called as offset okay on the horizontal axis the strain axis 0 0.002 from there a straight line parallel to this linear portion op is drawn now where it touches the stress strain curve from there a straight horizontal line is drawn and that line where it cuts the stress axis that is called as the yield strength okay that is the point of transition between the linear elastic region and the plastic region here from this curve you can make out that uh, it looks like beyond this point P the, plus the curve becomes non-linear but the approximate calculation it is done using this method okay so for most materials almost all the materials with different stress strain characteristics this method is used to calculate the point of transition of linear elastic to linear plastic region okay so according to this method this is the transition point here where it cuts this stress strain axis okay so this is the yield stress now the the yield uh, strength now for uh, different uh, materials they will have different yield strength values here we have uh, taken uh, the yield strength values for some uh, commonly used materials and the unit of yield strength is mega pascal so you can see we have taken aluminium copper iron steel brass having values of yield strength as 35 69 130 180 and 75 mega pascal okay so this is the concept of yield strength okay so the transition point between linear elastic region and plastic region the next property which we are going to discuss is resilience so resilience is concerned with the linear elastic region okay this linear elastic region o p or up to this point so what is resilience so it is the capacity of a material to absorb energy under the elastic region when it undergoes deformation during loading and when the stress is removed that is unloading to recover back this uh, energy the absorbed energy that is called as resilience now the property associated with this is called as the modulus of resilience for different materials u subscript r so from this stress strain curve the point where the straight line parallel to this uh, op region the linear region straight line region where it cuts the stress strain axis from there if we draw a horizontal line that gives us the yield strength and if we draw a vertical line that will give us the yield strain this is the yield strength this is the yield strain epsilon subscript y this is sigma subscript y 
So the modulus of resilience is calculated as u subscript r is the integration from lower limit 0 from 0 to yield strength epsilon subscript y integration of the the sigma the epsilon okay the stress with strain as variable okay from limit 0 to epsilon y okay this limit 0 to epsilon y because within this range we will have the linear elastic region okay so this is the modulus of resilience so the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is epsilon y okay the strain corresponding to the yield strength and stress is integrated with the strain being the variable element so this is the modulus of resilience so this is uh, what we all have about yield strength and uh, the modulus of resilience the resilience of a material so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much